Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I hope you're all well and staying safe. It's Sunday today and we thought it'd be nice to go out for some lunch. I found a local pub nearby that's got a really nice outdoor area with fire pits and stuff. But to be fair, the weather is really nice today. Blue sky, sunny, so it's a perfect weather for dining outside. I mean, in winter. Um, yeah, because we're in tier two here in Essex, you can dine with other households outside. Um, so we thought it'd be nice to go and meet up with my sister and her fiance because we haven't seen them for a while. So yeah, that is what we are going to go and do today. I've checked out the menu. Who else checks out food menus before they go to a restaurant, by the way? I always have to have a little look, figure out what I think I want before I go because I always feel really overwhelmed and like I always pick something random and maybe just like rushed when I'm looking at a menu in a restaurant because you feel like really rushed because obviously they want to take your order. So always check it out before you go we have got such a good little setup here for lunch so toasty time for a new set of nails just taking my old ones off and i am ready to prep and put on a new pair i kindly got gifted some from lx lou boutique i'll pop a link below to their instagram and i will also pop a couple of links below to some of my favorite press on nail brands um, yeah, there's some amazing ones out there like Rackstar Nails is one. They have kindly sent me lots of press on nails throughout lockdown. And um, yeah, they've been getting me through, especially the first lockdown because obviously none of us could get to beauty salons. And I just love press on nails now. They're like my new thing. Um, I love the fact that you can switch up designs every single week. Um, yeah, they tend to last me about seven to ten days and yeah, super excited to get a new pair on. They also like elongate my fingers because I have short stubby hands. Um, also, Shadow's right next to me and I think you can hear him. Are you being noisy? Oh, you've gone quiet now. You, you've gone quiet? That is so typical. He's gone quiet now. As soon as I turn the... Do you only snore when I speak? You're such a rascal, you. Someone is a big rascal. Oh, mummy can give you a good scratch now. I've not got any nails on. So this is the set of nails that I'm going to be applying. How cool are they? I love how they are Louis Vuitton themed. So I'm just gonna file off any old glue on my nails. This also helps the press on nails stick to your natural nail as well because it kind of creates a little bit of a textured base. Obviously this isn't great for your nails but my nails are pretty shit anyway. Then I'm just going to give my nails a wipe with a nail shine wipe. So this just cleans the nail and yeah, you just let that dry once you've wiped over your nails and also just gets any dirt off or anything and gets your nails really clean before you stick on your new pair. Then I'm going to use this brush on nail glue. I just find it so much easier using a brush on one because then you can really apply it very precisely rather than squeezing it and it going everywhere. So yeah, this glue is great. Let's get the nails on. So I always pop the glue on my nail first and just apply it in a thin coating all over. Then I pop some glue on the actual nail. Like so, just a little bit. And then we can stick that on. There we go. So once it's in position, I literally just hold it on there for about 30 seconds. Voila! Such an improvement already. Right, I'm gonna do the rest and then I will show you the set. Just pressing down the last nail. Then I can show you how fabulous they look. New nails! Ah, oh, feels so good to put on a new set. And oh my God, these are so fab. I love them. Coming in closer. How cool are they? Sick Louis V nails. Mm hmm. Love them. 
Oh, press on nails are just so good. Like literally they instantly transform the way your hands look. Look how like elongated my fingers look now. So good. Love them. Right. I need to just file the corners down because they're tiny little bit sharp. I think they've used like, you can get like stickers and foils um, for these nails. So yeah, there's just like a little bit of the sticker kind of poking off the edge, which is a little bit sharp. So I'm just going to file them down a little bit and smooth them out. But yeah, super happy with those. Thank you so much. Alexu Boutique. So cute. Excuse the mess in my studio. I'm just dyeing a wig. It's upside down at the moment. Um, I've already dyed it, but I am just blow drying it now because it's still wet. It is a Christmassy one. So I've had this blonde wig from Amazon and I've basically just put red and green streaks through it, as you can see. I'm going to curl it in a minute. But yeah, I thought I would show you part of the process. It will be on my Instagram and TikTok. Um, actually, it's already up if you want to go and check it out. But yeah, I will show you the finished wig in a second. I actually dyed this one as well, a really, really beautiful deep green. Um, this I'm gonna use for a Christmas hair tutorial very, very soon. Uh, but yeah, I've just left it drying for now, hanging on my light. Um, yeah, it's currently very wet. I've also really annoyingly just ruined my nails, <laughs> dyeing that wig. I only put them on yesterday, so frustrating. I wore gloves as well, but for some reason the dye got through the gloves and now look at my thumbs. I have a green thumb and a red thumb. Brilliant. And also my Louis V symbol has gone a bit blue. Ugh. So frustrating. Might have to take these nails off and put some new ones on. <laughs> Guys, just finished the wig. What do we think? So festive and Christmassy. I love it. I went for a flipped over kind of style with this wig. Normally I do like a middle part in. Um, but yeah, oh my God, I love it. Look at all of the red and green streaks. It literally matches my Christmas jumper so well. Ah, so festive. I love it. And I've paired it with this really beautiful red and green crystal crown from Aurora Moon Headwear. So beaut. So yeah, if you want to see me dyeing this wig, then head over to my Instagram as I posted a reels yesterday. Excuse my crazy makeup, although it is super fab. I'm literally loving my glittery eyes. I just filmed this look today for a collab with Claire's for like Christmas party, New Year's Eve season. Um, but I'm jumping on here because I am super excited. I'm about to do a Zoom event with Elf Cosmetics. And oh my God, we are doing a gingerbread house making workshop and i'm so excited because i've never done one of these before and i've always wanted to do one i saw a lot of bloggers do the gingerbread house making event last year and i was kind of jealous not gonna lie but i'm doing my own one tonight so yeah really really excited so it's with so it's with elf cosmetics and i think baked by steph is leading us with the gingerbread house making this is what we're gonna be attempting to make i mean it's probably not gonna look like that let's be honest i've got sprinkles glitter icing i've got a little board for the house and i've got all my gingerbread biscuits here already cut into shape i've got some elf cosmetics bits of makeup that we're going to be looking at in a minute i've got some little elf cosmetics cookies and my laptop ready with everyone on it for the event so at the moment we are practicing piping which actually i feel like i'm doing an okay job at i'm quite glad that they've given us this little practice sheet so yeah, I'm just practicing a few lines, some circles, but yeah, just taking it quite slowly. But I feel like I'm doing quite a good job. Oh no, spoke too soon. So this is what my gingerbread house is starting to look like. It's actually so hard. Um, but yeah, slowly getting there. Please don't have it so far. Last year I 
All right, guys, I think I'm ready to piece together my gingerbread house. It looks so cute. Guys, I'm sorry, but this gingerbread house is so cute. I'm so pleased with the roof. Did a little mermaid scallop and the windows. Oh, Careful, so don't drop cute. It. I'm not going to drop it, it's fine. We've got lots of sprinkles on it, so much icing. Um, yeah, love it, it looks so cute, it's so fun. Um, excuse my face, I don't even know what I look like right now, but, <laughs> so jokes. Um, we were in the living room, Robin was like, did you just hear that really loud noise? And I was like, no, because I was watching TikTok. And basically, he went upstairs and this happened. Our curtains fell off the wall. And we've made this beautiful makeshift curtain out of our bedspread. And we've stuck it up with masking tape. Honestly, who are we? We are so bad at DIY, it's unreal. I don't know whether you guys ever watched our moving in vlog, but we put up our curtain pole and our curtains and they fell down um, within like 30 seconds of putting them up. And they've lasted, they've lasted a year. <laughs> to be fair, that's pretty good going. Lasted a year and yeah, so basically now we're gonna have to get someone to come around, fill in the gashes in the wall or help us put them back up somehow. I actually have no idea, but I think it's time to call a professional in. So there's one big gash in the wall and our previous uh, hole that we filled. And there's the second hole. Lovely jabbly. Guys, we have just arrived at Vista. We thought we would take the day off work and do some Christmas shopping. And we haven't been to Vista Village since February this year. So we thought we'd drive down, it took us about two hours, just arrived. And um, yeah, we're gonna go head in and see what bargains we can get today. Last year I Guys, we just ate in this Asian restaurant called Sa is it San or Sham? What? Sham or San? Sham Su? Shan Shui. Shan Sui. Yeah? Shui. Shui. Yes. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Um, in Vista Village. And oh my god, it's honestly, 10 out, 10. 10 out of 10. We both loved it. We ordered loads of starters. It was just, it was just my so good. My only regret is that we didn't order enough. Yeah, we didn't order enough. Um, also, I bought um, something from Chloe. And when the guy at the cash register gave me the bag, he was like, went up to me, like crept right in close to me. And then went like, ho, ho, ho. And I was like, oh my God, that's so embarrassing. And obviously he <laughs> read it off of my Claire's face mask that I'm wearing today. Um, but yeah, gonna do a little bit more shopping and then head home. Oh, we are all shopped out feeling quite tired my feet are hurting a lot not used to being on my feet really like we're so used to just sitting at home aren't we it's, yeah. it's mad um, like we don't really get up and get out as much anymore only really to walk the dogs every day and that's about it um, but it's felt nice to just get out the house today um, I have to say if you do want to come to Vista Village before Christmas highly recommend coming later on in the day um, we arrived at around half 11 and it was honestly okay, so please. busy and even it, it probably didn't stop getting busy until about two so I reckon come after lunch it's definitely quietened down a lot like even the car park is empty now and it's completely full when we got here yeah. um, and the queue system but shop. yeah so this is the thing right queue system we didn't know about this because i looked on their website and on their instagram and i didn't see anything about it before but basically 
there's this digital queue system where you take a photo of a QR code and you enter your details and it puts you into a digital queue. But with some of the bigger shops like Gucci, Prada, Dior, they close their digital queue, which meant you couldn't then take a photo of the QR code and get on it. They were just like, and we'd ask them and say, oh, when's the queue gonna be back open? And they were like, oh, we don't really know. Just cut, you just have to come back every so often. And we were just like, okay, kind of annoying. But after asking around a few of the shops, one of them was like, oh, we're putting the QR code back out at one o'clock for people to scan to join the queue again. So we just assumed, okay, I think all the shops are clearly gonna do the digital queue every hour. And so at one o'clock, me and Robin kind of split up, went outside the shops that we wanted to go in, and we both, you know, jumped on the digital queue, entered our details and stuff, and then we just kind of waited, and then it just texts you, and you get 10 minutes to go to the shop. Obviously, it's, it's difficult, because if you're in one shop, and you're looking at the queue for another shop, and you get a text, you're like, oh my God, I'm in a shop already, and now I've got to go to the other shop, and I've only got 10 minutes. So it's a bit stressful, but we managed to kind of, we work it, it yeah well. we, we did it quite well to be fair and we managed to go Turn everywhere right that we wanted to but if you come later on in the day the digital queue is pretty much open really yeah. um but yeah so it's just yeah busy probably 11 until 2 really yeah, after two um it's but after two it's dead and i think first thing in the morning i can't imagine there'll be many people here at nine but you just never know well i don't uh -huh. know it seems like everyone yeah. here so yeah, if you are going to come before Christmas, highly recommend coming Monday to a Thursday and coming after two o'clock. Um, that would be my tip. Um, but we've got some really great bargains today. Like this is the second time we've come here now and we've been really pleased with the product and the selection in all the stores and the prices, the, the discounts are amazing. Um, so yeah, really, really happy. I will show you everything when we get home. We've got a two hour drive now. So guys, we are back from Bista. That was a friggin' long drive. It took us three hours to get home because there was a crash on the M25. Obviously, I hope nobody got hurt. Um, but yeah, it just took a lot longer to get home than it did to get to Bista. But we're home, safe and sound. And I thought I'd run through quickly what we got today. So I thought I'd start off with some bits that Robin got. He got this Gucci hoodie. Really cool. What was that? 350 reduced from like 700 or something. So basically half price, yeah. which I thought was pretty good. Then he got this cap. Oh, it's nice that it comes in a bag. He got this New York Yankees Gucci cap, really cool. And that was a hundred pound reduced from 300 or something. Was it? It was one two five reduced from 250. Okay, again, so half price, that's pretty good. Then we were killing time before going into Gucci and I saw a Hunter Wellies shop, which I don't actually own Wellies, which I know is mad because I go to so many festivals, but I don't actually own Wellies. So I thought I'd go in there and have a look and they had a really, really cute pair. So I bought them. They were £125, I think, reduced to £77, which I thought was really good. And they are so chic i love them so like quite a high leg so they kind of cut off just below my knee but they're like kind of like riding boots but they're welly boots so they're really fitted super smart kind of ladies fashiony hunter welly boots really chic i thought and for 77 pound i thought that was a really really good bargain and i like the fact that they're kind of like patenty really really smart pair of wellies good to have in the house, walking the dogs, and also for festivals when they come back. Then guys, I ended up buying that Chloe bag because it was so beautiful. And I am absolutely loving like nudes at the moment. They're really on trend. And I recently got some nude boots. So I thought having a nude handbag would pair really, really well with my booties. Also, they had a really good deal where you could save 10% extra on top of the bag so I got 45% off if you spent £30 on a perfume the Chloe perfume so I got that and I'm going to gift that to somebody for Christmas haven't decided who but I thought that was quite a good little gift that normally is £50 
the perfume, I think, or £45. But yeah, oh, when I saw this bag, I was like, yes, it is beautiful. I love the fact that it's got this strap so you can have it like short and it's, you know, sits really nice over your shoulder. But then you've also got the long strap inside the bag. It's got this little like section here which you can slide some little bits in, maybe your phone. And yeah, I just really, really like it actually. Really lovely. Got a little zip compartment inside. And yeah, love it. Gonna add that to my little bag collection. Really, really nice. So yeah, so that was um oh I remember now. I think it was 1450. Yeah, 1495. 14, How do you remember all this? And then I got it for eight. Nine five, or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, really, really good. Yeah, and I got the perfume as well. And I said that, 10 so I got 45% off this bag. Yeah. Pretty good. Then I highly recommend checking out All Saints whilst you're there because they had um, lots of discounts across all of the lines of clothing in there, men's and women's, but they also, today, I don't know whether they do this all the time, whether it's random or Christmas, they had an extra 40% off some of the items. But Robin got... Of all the items. I don't know. I don't think it was all of them. Because when yeah. I looked on the sign, it said selected lines. Oh. Yeah, so I think she said at the door, like, oh, we've got 40% off to, like, lure us in. But I looked at the sign, it said selected lines. I don't think it was off everything. Because otherwise, some of it might have already been discounted a lot anyway. That would have been given away for free. But yeah, Robin got a really nice tracksuit, actually, for £57. All Saints Grey jumper like crew neck jumper with matching joggers for 57 quid I thought it was really good for all saints that's that... christmas sorted what coaching in this yeah. but they had like their leather coats yeah. um loads of winter coats shirts. in their shirts shirt. to be fair i have to say the men's was way better than the women's um, but definitely worth a look and then, guys, I bought a little something, something from Prada. I've been wanting another winter coat and, oh, fell in love with this Prada one. So, so nice because I can also use it when me and Robin go skiing because we're kind of, well, not that we can go skiing anytime soon, but we had planned that, you know, we want to... We want to be those chic people that go skiing every year because we love it. Like Robin has skied pretty much all his life. Um, and now like I do what I do as my job and we can take the time off work a lot easier being freelance and working for ourselves. We um, just want to kind of go skiing every year and we love the snow and we went to Finland. I'll pop a link below to my Finland vlog. Luckily, we got that trip in just before lockdown. Um, and travel kind of went to a halt. But yeah, we love the snow, we love skiing, and I thought I could wear this jacket in the snow, skiing, or, yeah, and in the UK, obviously, because it's bloody freezing here at the moment. But it is a white Prada puffer jacket. I love it. I love the little Prada logo on the sleeve. It's fitted at the back. It honestly looks so nice on, and it's got, like, faux fur around the hood, it's beautiful and oh, it's really, really warm and it's just super cozy and I'm really, really happy that I got this. So yeah, that was 1,750 reduced to 750 pounds, which I think is an, an amazing discount. That's like what, more than 50%, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah, me and Robin are trying to kind of buy more quality over quantity with our clothing this year. like we instead of kind of buying a couple of random coats from fast fashion brands like misguided pretty little thing all of those high street kind of fast fashion brands we're trying to kind of invest in a really nice item that we can rewear and bring out every year um so yeah so i just really like to buy kind of designer accessories or you know, really key pieces like coats and blazers and things that I know that I can keep in my wardrobe and bring out every year. And I always like to buy kind of really kind of basic, plain things that I know I can rework and that will kind of be very timeless. That's a good word. We like buying timeless 
designer pieces that we can rewear every season and yeah every year so we're not buying loads and loads of fast fashion stuff um because the design stuff you know is well made and it does last but yeah hope you enjoyed coming along to Bista with us today and also enjoyed this little haul but for now I'm going to chill because that was a long drive just been to Hobbycraft and bought lots of Christmassy bits because I'm about to make a headpiece and it's for a reindeer makeup look that I'm doing. So I've got lots of pipe cleaners to make the antlers and I've got a glue gun, lots of glue. Let's get going. So to start with, I've made the kind of shape of the antlers out of the pipe cleaners and I'm going to be wrapping around some tissue paper just to fill it out. I'm going to tape it with tape. So here's one antler done. So that's literally all I've done is taped tissue paper around the pipe cleaner, which kind of acts as like the frame and the base of the antler. It looks really good though. They are looking so good. So I've sprayed them gold. I've attached them to this headband that I got from Amazon. And yeah, I'm going to add some more little Christmassy decor bits now. Oh my god, I've just had a delivery from Donut Time. Ugh. Wow, Merry Christmas. Here's a Christmas gift from us to you. Enjoy your treats. We've created a code 15% off for your followers, guys. So, so for H15, it gets you 15% off Donut Time. Oh my god, I cannot wait to open this. Okay, let's open it up. Shadow wants to have a little peek. Nally. Oh my god. Oh, what's in this? This is like a little box of goodies. Oh, what are these? Posh hot chocolate. Is it hot chocolate? You put it in a cup. Oh my God. <gasps> Oreo dairy milk. Pina colada gummies. Shut up. Oh my God, I cannot wait to try those. Oh my God, yes. They've sent me their Christmas classic DIY kit. Oh, so you get plain donuts. I think there's red and just plain there. Somewhere, let's see. Yeah, plain. And then I think these ones are red. That's so cool. And then piping and chocolates to decorate. Oh my God, that's so cute. <gasps> Cannot wait to decorate a donut. Just finished my reindeer headpiece. How cute is this? So Christmassy. Love it. Currently sat here with my Rudolph makeup. I'm actually super proud of this look. Um, I'm actually just finishing editing it now. I will give you a little sneaky peek. This is the finished look. My headpiece I made the other day looks, oh, honestly, it looks amazing. I'm so, so happy with it. It's getting closer so you can see. Looks so good. So that's actually already up on my Instagram if you want to go and check out the look. And that's it from me this week, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in again and watching my weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching what I got up to. Um, I cannot believe we're getting closer to Christmas. It's honestly madness. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I will love you and leave you. And I hope you're all staying safe and well. And I'll see you in next week's vlog very, very soon.